All right, Scorpio. I do apologize. Your reading last week was rather strange. I did it a couple times. Um, it's just strange. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll discuss it at a later time. <laughs> it was a little strange. So, with that in mind, I didn't forget you guys. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with these readings. <laughs> Most likely, I'll end up giving you two this week. Okay. If I don't do anything with those. It's just touchy. Something about it's like touchy. It's like weird. Okay. Um, not to give you a teaser or anything like that. Because I realize, but it's like talks about some topics that are very, very um, taboo, I guess you could say. I'll just leave it at that. Anyway. And uh, I've had a lot going on, so dealing with uh dealing with Dexter, my dog. So anyway, what do we have for romantic love for Scorpio? Romantic love, Scorpio. Romantic love, romantic love. Eight of Cups. Four of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. Did you go out? Did you meet someone while you were out and about? Ah, you did. You could have been out at some point and you may have met someone. And now you can't stop thinking about them or they can't stop thinking about you. So who is the, who who is this person? What's the night? So tell me, who is this night? No, no man. The person of focus is the knight. Okay. So this person could have been someone who was traveling, passing through, something like that, visiting, bumping into. Okay. Who is this? Who is this? Tell me about this four cups. The, ener the person that's in the energy of the four cups. Tell me about that. Who is the person that is in the energy of the four cups? So I want to just, I want to find out if it's the, the knight or if it's somebody that's thinking about that. Oh, Empress. Say more about this Empress. Oops. Okay. Oh. Okay. Five of Swords. Fascinating picture. I always love the Seven of Swords in this deck. I don't know why. It's a really cool picture. Okay. So, there is someone, an empress could have their eyes focused, peeled on a knight, a knight of pentacles. Now, this Five of Swords here. Hold on. Okay, sorry. My baby's not doing too good. Anyway. <sighs> Where'd I leave off? Oh, sorry. Tell me about this Five of Swords. You have the Three of Wands here. Tell me about this Five of Swords. It's kind of like an it's kind of erotic. So I have someone who has impure thoughts. Okay, 
Somebody has some impure thoughts. There is somebody who's probably like minding their own business, not doing anything, you know, just kind of like doing whatever. And then something happened. And then... Uh, I'll put it this way. There's someone who... Somebody wants to tie another person up. Somebody's fantasizing about another person. Somebody is totally fantasizing about another person. It's this empress. This empress has her eye on somebody. This knight of pentacles. Now, what's the deal with this knight? Tell me about this knight. It's almost like role-playing. It's kind of like role-playing. It's really erotic, though. Woo! It's really erotic. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. Who are who is this Knight of Pentacles? Chariot. Knight of Pentacles is someone who is very um, someone who's been through a lot. In fact, they could be going through something pretty um, pretty major right now, or something pretty difficult right now. Okay. But they're coming out of it. They're okay. They're remaining grounded. And they're they're elevated. They're elevated. Okay? There's a lotus. There's a lotus in this picture. It's pink. There is a, a lot of symbology around that. I can't think off the top of my head because I've had a lot going on. <laughs> um, so... This night, somebody sees this night as someone who is very uh, handsome, handsome, courageous, strong, strong-willed, has very strong willpower, okay? Somebody very powerful. This is very much reminding me of like, like the magician on wheels. <laughs> okay? got like everything here except you know the only thing that's missing is the um well the sword i mean the cups are there is that cups i can't tell it looks like it but you got the pentacle you got the wand you have a rod okay anyway Everybody's wearing a hat except for this one. Well, this um, this person in this study, in this library. Somebody may hang out. Maybe somebody might live beneath. They might live beneath somebody. They might, you know, somebody could be in the basement. Maybe somebody does some kind of study in the basement. Maybe they have a study. You know, maybe they have a study. Maybe they have something um, old world, something very old world. I'm not really sure, you know, how this is resonating for you. Hey, baby, you want to come in here? Come on. Um, I hope he's eating. He's not. Never mind. He's drinking. Okay. Now, whoever this person is, um... It's actually a nice match, believe it or not. It is. Now, something was very, you know, a friend of mine <laughs> said, I don't put my cards on the table. The format of this, it smushes it. I, I have, I'm using a different format because I want more. I want more of the picture in here. But it cuts off a lot of the table, okay? Anyway. I'm not the one people have to worry about. <laughs> I'm not the one. Okay. Now. Somebody was busy doing something. Somebody was preoccupied. While this, while this person was preoccupied... They were checking them out. They were watching them. 
So let's say somebody was, while they were working, somebody was just like looking at them, looking them up and down or something like that. Okay, somebody was, I keep getting impure thoughts. Somebody kept having impure thoughts. And I don't feel like it's something that where somebody feels like it's kind of like weird or anything like that. But maybe it's something, maybe this person's a bit proper. Um, and that's kind of how they look at it. You know, or maybe that could be how they speak. Um, something like that. All right. Now. So. There could be a carnival or something coming up. Maybe wherever somebody is, maybe there could be something, something about a carnival. Now, as far as um, the time, there's a couple different timelines going on here. Okay, I'm not really sure what I'm getting about that, but... Okay, so this person, they're cloaked. Like, say like this, this thief right here, the Seven of Swords. They don't want you to see their face. They don't want you to know. So it's very possible that, you know while speaking with this person while meeting with this person maybe you saw this person staring at you maybe they did their best to not stare at you but it's very possible that you know maybe you couldn't notice it so did did this other did the other, did this knight notice it did this knight notice this empress staring? this knight notice this empress i'm getting something like that it's like somebody was trying not to look were trying to conceal it but i don't think that they did no they didn't they didn't i don't think that they did hierophant queen of pentacles two of swords Oof. wow high priestess yeah there is definitely a connection here that could be, you know, that could come into, that could manifest, that could come into manifestation. Okay. Now, okay, let me, so let's say what we have on the board. We have the Empress. We, we have Taurus Libra. You know, the Chariot, that's Cancer. Magician, that's Virgo, Gemini. Hierophant now, that is Taurus. High Priestess. For me, High Priestess is Virgo and Pisces. Okay. Now. I gotta tell you. This feels incredibly mutual. It's almost like somebody sees another person as a warrior. Maybe somebody feels like a warrior. Maybe they are a warrior. Maybe they've been in some sort of a position where they've had to kind of like fight. Maybe they were in the military or something like that. Somebody might know martial arts. Verbal jujitsu. Verbal judo. Verbal judo. Okay. So, what, what do we need to tell Scorpio about this person? This is in reverse, but it is the Four of Wands in reverse. Okay. Maybe in my place. <laughs> um, four of Wands, it depends on, you know, the cards around, how it is that you interpret it, yada, yada, yada. If there's any negative cards around. Now, there are negative cards around, but I'm not seeing them as negative. I'm seeing this as in, you know, not like as far as a deception. The only deception is somebody's having impure thoughts about another person. Or maybe they they were hiding, they were trying to hide that their attraction you know, they were just like staring at somebody, but it's just like, you know, it might have been just written all over their face or their action or something like that. Okay, so that's what I have. Four of Wands, you know, in, in regards to how the energy feels, because the energy feels really, really good. It does Nothing feels bad in here at all. It feels really, really good. Incredibly, you know, considering the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords are here at the same time, I don't feel it as anything negative. This feels like really amazing. It feels amazing. Okay, especially considering last week. Whew. Four of Wands basically is the same interpretation, whether it's in reverse or in the upright. Again, depending on the cards that are surrounding it and the energy that's on the board, okay? Or table, I should say. So, this is something, you know, the chariot is something as far as celebration. Four of Wands is a card of celebration. You even have that. The Hierophant here, I'm kind of like tying, tying like those two together, three together. Um, as far as something, it could be, you know, I don't like to use the word commitment, um, but it could be something where there's like a, a very good understanding between a couple different people, okay? 
a very strong understanding okay I feel like the original the, the original identities of these two individuals is empress and magician that is the original identities now the empress right now is in the four of cups energy it's like oh this is an opportunity oh I'm, I'm, I'm meeting somebody new okay this knight is in the energy of um the chariot they're truly a magician they haven't been able to unleash their power yet unleash their you know abilities but whatever it is they're working with it okay i feel like this person's cheated themselves in the past with a lot of different things but they're not going to let that happen anymore so somebody's actually trying to work with the universe or trying to understand somebody's trying to understand i don't know if any of this makes any sense to you it's going to make sense it's going to make sense when it rolls in whether it's going on right now or when it rolls in it's going to make sense and i keep getting something you know like somebody could be coming in in a car or a vehicle somebody could be driving up somewhere somebody could be you know frequenting some sort of an establishment or something like that um rolls up so somebody could be you know you know there very well could be somebody that you know drives into your life you know pretty soon and you're like whew the empress the empress is like hmm so i don't know who you are in this scenario all right let's wrap this up emperor <laughs> should look at that you look at that that's the emperor the true identities of these two people okay so this person they're coming along they're getting there the empress is already in that energy this magician, this person is like, you know, their next step is, is to go to magician. Okay, or the magician is to go to emperor. This person is, a, is an emperor in uh, knight's clothing. It's an emperor in knight's clothing. And they are of the energy. Their true identity is a magician. Their true identity is a magician. A master manifester. Okay. So this is something that somebody was trying to draw in. Well, they drew it in. They definitely drew it in. The Hierophant and the, the Queen of Pentacles are here together. Now, there could be somebody that could be orchestrating something, or maybe somebody is like, you know, the boss or something like that. Maybe there's somebody around um, a couple different people that maybe could be in the area or the vicinity when all this is occurring. Um, somebody says they have their blessing. Somebody has your blessing or that you have their blessing okay i don't see this as a marriage could this turn into a long-term commitment or potentially more it could it could it's always going to depend on us and our actions okay no fate is ever really sealed it's going to depend on our actions at least that's my belief anyway could this turn into something yes yes it could both people can't act a fool. All right. Wrap it up. <sighs> Wheel of Fortune. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody is feeling very lucky. <laughs> Somebody feels lucky to be alive. okay i am getting hints of some other stuff but it's a different scenario the other scenario is a bit of a downer i'm getting two scenarios i went with the greater scenario i'll put it that way okay there is something that's trying to kind of come in trying to creep in the thing is is we're trying to focus only on the good and that could be what the energy is with this. Somebody's trying to solely focus on the good. That's good. Okay. Somebody could have gone through something in the past. Somebody could even be lucky to be alive. Maybe they've, maybe they've, you know, survived something. But whoever it is, they're not trying to think about it. They're not trying to think about it. There's no reason to think about it. We're looking, you know, in the present. And we're heading towards the future. And whatever it is that I went through, we're not even worried about it right now. Because, you know, we're just not worrying about it. 
it's in the past. We are looking at whatever this is that I'm coming into. Okay, that's the energy that I'm getting. How somebody's thinking or talking about it. I'm leaving it there. I'm leaving it there, Scorpio. I keep getting something about having a blessing. For whatever reason, something is happening. And the there is a blessing that's coming about. Okay, so it could be, you know, whatever the energy is, whether it's divine or something like that, that is like, this is a blessed, this is a blessing, you know, this is my blessing to you. Take care of it. Take care of it. Okay. Or that's what it is. It could be that, you know, somebody's like, you know, hey, I like this person. I want to date them. And they're like, whatever makes you happy. I'm okay with it. Yeah, my blessing. It could be something like that. I'm because I'm getting something about that. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm leaving it there, Scorpio. That's it. All right, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. <sighs> if you'd like to reach out to me to book a private reading, you can email become the star 1111 at gmail.com. Or you can contact me through Instagram, become the star. It's all one word, all lowercase. I don't reach out to people for readings. You have to reach out to me. So if anyone tries to contact you to offer you a bullcrap reading, it's not me. I do all my readings one-on-one, face-to-face, -on -face, through video call. Okay, so you know it's you always know it's me that you're dealing with. If anyone tries to offer you a reading any other way than that, it's a scammer. Okay, that's it. Good luck, Scorpio, and I'll see you next week. I'm actually going to be doing an extra video for you unless I can get to one of those other videos up. So, anyway, good luck.